Now I don't like tomatoes of any kind, and these ones came in a pre-packed salad. So I decide to blow them up. I'm making a hole in the side of this one, and I'm going to insert this little detonator. It's actually just an electrolytic capacitor that I got out of a colour TV. Uh, some of them were 16 volt at 47 microfarads and some were 50 volts at 1 microfarad. I'll just cover the camera up. I'm only using a webcam to make the video and I don't want to damage the camera or get it gunked into Martin. You want to turn your volume down now? <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. And there's the remains of the tomato. It went up the walls. Actually made a bit of a mess. Now I'm taking the exploded capacitor off and I'm going to replace it with a new capacitor. The power supply I'm using uh, was a toroidal transformer kicking out about 30 volts at 5 amps AC of course. These little electrolytic capacitors don't like AC. Here's another capacitor. In it goes. Cover up the camera. Now I'm switching it on at the mains. <laughs> and it's uh, the neighbour's dog barking, that's how loud it was. The dog was a couple of uh, houses down from me. It's in the back garden. Look at the mess. The best tomato puree you'll have ever tasted. Now I'm taking off the old busted capacitor. And putting another one on there. Now these capacitors are marked with a plus and a minus, they're polarised but being as we're using an AC supply it makes no difference which way around we connect them they're going to blow up either way just holding the wire in place with a pair of um, pliers put a rubber band around the handle of the pliers and you get a quick grip vice That's another capacitor connected. And my last tomato. I only had three. Next time I'll try it with some soft pears or a few capacitors in a banana. A real big chunky capacitor in a watermelon. There we go, cover up the camera. Switch it on. this one didn't really do anything. You see some smoke coming out. Here it goes. But no bang. Failure. I'm going to take this capacitor out and put the fourth one in there. No, there's the capacitor. Look. It doesn't even look damaged. You'll see there's some hot melt glue on the end where I soldered the wires onto the capacitors 
I covered it in hot milk glue so the water in the tomato didn't short out okay here's the fourth capacitor Poke it in. Just switched it on now. Is anything going to happen? Yeah, keep watching. Hold on. <coughs> there, there it goes. <laughs> Excellent. Look at all the mess. There's bits of tomato everywhere. It went up the walls, it went on the ceiling, on the cupboards. But it was fun. Next time, we'll try something bigger. Okay, guys, I'm done now. Catch you later.